Hello, the internet. Welcome here with Got That Funk. So a couple of months ago on my collaboration channel, The Breakfast Club, uh, one of my hosts, Nathan Brendan Masters, uh, made a video asking Trump supporters, you know, what will it take for you to reconsider your position and think, hey, maybe you picked the wrong guy when you voted for Trump last November? And, you know, a lot of people had interesting answers to that question. And I think uh, the general consensus is that there's a certain percentage of hardcore Trump supporters that will support the man literally no matter what he says, no matter what he does. It has nothing to do with Trump's politics as such. It's more of a cult of personality. And uh, I, I think there's an element of truth to that. But there has to be a lot of Trump voters who voted for Trump uh, partly because they didn't want Hillary Clinton and, uh, and for other reasons besides, I'm sure, uh, who don't fall into the deplorable category or anything like that. But they were, they were genuine Trump supporters and they wanted to give the guy a chance. Well, you know, now we've had nine months of President Trump. And um, quite frankly, my friends, if Hurricane Maria and its effects on Puerto Rico have not changed people's minds about how inept, ineffectual, and unfit for office Trump is, I don't know what possibly could. The hurricane made landfall in Puerto Rico almost two weeks ago from the time I'm making this video. It took Trump like five or six days before he finally went to see the devastation. And when he did, it couldn't have escaped his notice that every structure on the island is damaged. Most of them have been completely laid to waste. Every single person in Puerto Rico who is in the hospital on intensive care is now dead. 55% of the people, almost two weeks after the hurricane made landfall, are still without adequate food and water and at risk of starvation. Trump is tweeting all over the place, de decrying the ineptitude of the Puerto Rican people and their uh, representatives, rather than being supportive. He's blaming them. He says, oh, we've sent, we've sent 10,000 people to help with the relief efforts. Well, you know, that's good. Uh, but when you're talking about helping with three and a half million people, 10,000 is like one for every 35,000 people. That's clearly not enough. His reaction has been so inept and, and, and blatantly poor that rich people and companies are donating their support because they think the government's not doing enough and, and they feel very strongly that you know if they don't get something done, people are just gonna die and they're right, it's happening. The crisis in Puerto Rico can't be overstated. Three and a half million people are at risk. Everything in the island needs to be rebuilt. They've gotta start over from scratch. This isn't just your typical hurricane damage we're talking about. Agriculture, buildings, infrastructure, gone. Many, many people have already lost their lives and many more will lose their lives unless the federal government steps up its game by a fucking factor. And President Trump is directly to blame. While he was criticizing the mayor of San Juan and other representatives in Puerto Rico who are working their fucking ass off, literally up to their neck in water, Trump's on the fucking golf course tweeting on his fucking phone, criticizing other people for not being up to the job. If you still support President Trump after his uh, response to Hurricane Maria, please explain to me why you think his response is adequate. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to what you've got to say in the comments section, and I'll see you again soon.